after May 11th, our court-compelled use of Title 42 will end, and we will once again process all migrants under Title 8 of the United States Code. They will be removed most often in a matter of days and just a few weeks. Let me be clear, our border is not open and will not be open after May 11th. Uh, seven million uh, migrants have crossed into America on Joe Biden's watch. The border has been open. That was the Department of Homeland Security Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas saying the opposite yesterday. Title 42 is set to expire on May 11th. We've got just a couple of weeks before that happens. The Biden administration is now planning to open more migrant processing centers in Latin America. House them there. They claim House Republicans have unveiled a sweeping immigration package. This happened yesterday uh, that would complete President Trump's border wall and place restrictions on asylum seekers. Joining me right now is Texas Congressman, member of the House Judiciary, Transportation and Infrastructure Committees. He is also the former Texas sheriff, Troy Nels. Congressman, it's great to see you. Thanks very much for being here. First, give us your reaction to what you just heard from Alejandro Mayorkas. Well, I, uh, number one, the border isn't secure. He has continued to mislead, misrepresent, actually lie to the American people by saying that the southern border is closed. We haven't seen that. I've been there. Many members of Congress have been there. We've been from San Diego to Yuma all the way into my great state of Texas. And thousands upon thousands into the millions now have crossed illegally into our country. So, no, the border isn't closed. Now Joe Biden announces he's seeking reelection. So now let's confuse the American American people and make it look like we actually care about our southern border and let's start open processing centers here in Colombia, Guatemala. I mean, it's just, it, this is all just nothing but noise, quite honestly. Well, I mean, we don't know what to believe. Uh, there's so much misinformation coming out of this government at all times. It's impossible to know what's true and what isn't true. What are you going to do about it? Do you see any solution to this wide open border anytime soon? The only solution, in my humble opinion, I've been up here for, what, uh, two and a half years now, the only way to secure the southern border, folks, is to get the White House back. Now, we're going to pass a meaningful legislation, border uh, immigration reform and law, out of the House, but once it gets to the Senate, it's dead. It's dead on arrival over there, and Joe Biden wouldn't sign it anyway. So if we really, truly care, if the American people truly care about securing our southern border and end this crisis, we need to get Donald Trump back in the White House in 2024. That's it. Well, the only reason we even know half the stuff we know is because the Republicans are in the majority in the House. We've learned so much from some of these committee hearings and the whistleblowers. Now we've got a House Judiciary Subcommittee holding a hearing on fixing the Foreign Intelligence Surveillance Act. That's FISA. The Department of Justice Inspector General Michael Horowitz warned yesterday that the FBI is using the FISA powers to conduct more searches and surveillance on American citizens, more than 3 million searches on Americans' data and communications in 2021. Here's some of that testimony. Watch. It's obviously very concerning that there's that volume of searches, the error rate that was reported on. Now, and that error rate was what? Um, I believe it was around 30 percent. Yeah, I'm a lawyer, not a mathematician. You're talking about seven figures of error. Congressman, one million of those searches were made in error. What's going on? Well, that's what we know with the FBI and the DOJ. And, and uh, what they're concerned about the Intel Committee now is Section 702 is about to expire at the end of the year. And obviously, our committee on Judiciary, we oversee that. So I think that the FISA, the FISA courts, obviously, they have abused their uh, the American people's rights. We look at what happened with Carter Page years ago and how the, uh, this FISA and this FISA court attacked him. Uh, FISA 702 dealt with dealing with foreigners. It was all about intel, surveillance on foreigners in foreign lands. Never was the intent to go after and surveil the American people. And that's what they're doing uh, with, with uh, 702 and the, the FBI. It's wrong. There's been millions and millions of searches on the American people. And there needs to be some strict oversight. We need to have some oversight on this. And, and uh, I think Horowitz did a great, deal, a great job the other day, the Inspector General Horowitz, in exposing the FBI uh, and what they've done uh, against the American people. To me, it's illegal. Well, illegal. 
Congressman, it is illegal. And, and look, with all due respect, this should have been fixed years ago. I remember how they abused the FISA process and surveilled Carter Page throughout the Russia collusion lie that the media went along with. And we're still talking about this. How come this hasn't been fixed? Are you telling me that the FISA rules are supposed to capture foreigners and instead it's capturing uh, millions of Americans and they're surveilling and watching us? Uh, and, and those people who they may not agree with uh, or uh, are their political, you know, uh, skeptics, that's who they're surveilling? Well, if you know Carter Page, obviously he was a great American, went to the Naval Academy, did all these great things. And then yeah. once Carter Page joined uh, the Trump administration, the Trump team in 2016, now all of a sudden this is a bad guy and we have to go after him because it was all about going after Donald Trump. So that's what this was about. People lied and only one person went to jail for this. Only one yeah, person he... went to jail for this. Should have been more. Should have been more. Well, I, believe me, I lived it, the Russia collusion lie. We reported truth on this program only to get trashed by the media. But I remember the people in Congress who lied to us straight away. And I'm talking about Adam Schiff, Eric Swalwell, all told us that Trump colluded in plain sight. They were on the Intelligence Committee. They knew better. They should not have said that publicly because they knew better, Congressman. You and the California Congressman Eric Swalwell got into it. A heated exchange during a hearing uh, this week over the Chinese spies. Watch this. Let's take a look. Got a, a checkered past. He's alleged. I'm sorry. Relationships. A checkered past. Uh, uh, alleged, I would ask. Uh, it's my time. Mr. Alleged affairs. Checkered relationships past. With, no, 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 no. Yum, sir, yum. You don't get to say that. He, that's not he true. He had alleged relationships and with Yum Yum. I asked the, oh, gen oh, I asked no, the no, gentleman's no, words no, be no, taken no. down. So what was going on there, Congressman? Um, we know that Eric Swalwell had a relationship with a woman named Fang Fang. Uh, was that a Chinese spy? What did she get from Eric Swalwell while they were sleeping together? And what did she do with that information? Well, it was enough to remove him from the Intel Committee, that's for certain. What you saw, the exchange with Mr. Swalwell and I, that was a judiciary hearing all about the border dealing with unaccompanied alien children. So it was all about dealing with unaccompanied alien children entering this country. He took his five minutes to go after one of the witnesses about January 6th. I'm like, this is totally off topic here. Why don't we focus on the southern border? He didn't want to do that. He wanted to attack the witness about January 6th. And I just couldn't handle it anymore. I said, I got to expose this clown for who he is. And, yeah. and so we removed him, his credibility. He does have a checkered past. And, and we need to expose him and continue to expose the left for who they truly are. Do we know specifically what information Fang Fang got from Eric Swalwell and took back to the Communist Chinese Party? Probably too much. That would be a good question you'd have to ask other members in the Intel Committee or maybe ask our speaker. But we did the right thing by removing yeah. him off that committee. We did the right thing. Hey, why is it that when the Democrats are in charge and they're questioning people, they're not under oath? How come you all are not under oath the way the witness has to be under oath? Well, all I do know is in several of the judiciary hearings, every one of the witnesses are under oath. I would assume that we have members of Congress, and if they are lying to the American people, if they are not, are, are not speaking truth, we need to expose them. I will do everything I can to expose any member of Congress that misleads, misrepresents, or lies to the American people. Yeah, it, everybody should be under oath, and, and there should be term limits, because it just feels like, you know, are you, are, would you support term limits? I'll be one of the first to sign. Good. Congressman, thank you. Troy Nell, it's great thank to have you. you.